Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain in details about continuous casting process. So let us start with the, some of the introductions. So just you can see the basic setup for a continuous castings. So in case of the continuous castings is a casting process in which the operations of the pouring as well as solidification and withdrawal of the castings from an open mold are carried out continuously. So basically just you can see at initially that will be collecting of the molten form of the metal into the ladle. From these ladles our molten form of the metals it will be transforming into a tundis. And after the tundis, it will be controlling the flow of that molten metal and that will be traveling or you can say transforming from the mold. So basically in case of the continuous casting process, this mold it will be made with a copper or you can say sometimes it will be also using graphite materials. Around this mold, it will be the argon gas, it will be supplied. And just you can see there will be the available facilities like water in and water out. So that will be also controlling the temperature. So once the higher temperature molten form of the metals that will be entering into the mold and after passing through that particular liquidity it will be cooled down. Or you can say some another features it will be also applied water spray. Then after, just you can see, as per my requirement of the shape and size, or you can say as from the cross-sectional area, we are using the different pinch rules, or you can say withdrawing units. So this is our cast products that will be continuously roll out from the molten form of the metal into the solid. So as per my requirements of the length, their cross-sectional area, I would like to controlling all the things and at finally as from requirement of the length of that particular components there will be utilization of the cutting torch. So another way you should also find the basic setups this is our molten metal of the steels that will be tundis which will be transforming in between the mold. So this one is our mold that will be depends upon my cross sectional area or you can say shape and size of that particular components and just you can see there will be the spray cooling or you can say water cooling and this is the number of rollers is being used for withdrawing the particularly components and this process it will be continuously making the components from molten form of the metals as well as the solidifications and the withdrawing of the castings. So just you can see the various steps that will be involving into the castings. So this is our basic setup that we already discussing. So the molten metal is continuously supplied from the ladle to intermediate ladle called as a tundish from where it is continuously poured into the mold at a controlled rate keeping the level at a constant positions. So you need to controlling the flow as well as the temperature also of the molten form of the metal. The mold usually made of the copper or you can say graphite is open at the bottom and water cool so as to extract the heat from the metal causing its solidification process. So basically this argon gas as well as the water in water out that will be controlling the temperature or you can say that will be also help for solidification of the molten form of the metal. That's why that will be making a continuous products from a molten form of the metal to your solidified metal. So the shape of the mold corresponds to the shape of the desired casting. So that will be depends upon my requirements. The process is started by placing a dummy bar at the bottom of the mold upon which the first liquid melts falls. So that will be our dummy bar. The molten metal from the tundis enters the mold and takes the shape of the mold. The water cool mold controls the cooling rate of the metal so that it solidified before it leaves the mold. And that is the our necessary conditions to making a mold castings. So before the leaving from these molds that will be in the case of the solids. So it completely metal or you can say molten form of the metal 
it will be solid at the end of that particularly mold then the metal after coming out the mold is further cooled by direct spray or you can say water spray with air to complete the solidification process the solidified metal is continuously extracted by the pinch roller so these all are the pinch rollers bent and fed horizontally and finally cut to the desired length the dummy bar is initially placed at the end of the bottom of the mold to receive the first liquid metal. It is later disconnected from the castings. So after you can get a exact length of your particular components, then that will be removed from that particular components. So some of the advantages of this process, sprue, runner, riser, etc are not used hence no waste materials this leads to 100% casting yield so that is the major advantage there is no need to removing all that sprue runner and riser or you can say secondary operations which will be followed by the solidification process after a sand molding process capable of producing in a single operations roads sections and tubes with varying size and wall thickness is being manufactured with the help of continuous casting process process is automatic so there is a no manual operations so you should easily control the process product has good consistent soundness so you can get a sound casting process mechanical properties are higher some of the limitations or you can say disadvantages like not suitable for small quantity productions because that will be the continuous productions so generally apply for the highly demand components continuous and efficient cooling of the molds is required else center line sinkage develops so requires large floor space because of the continuous so you should controlling from the molten form of the metal to your finished products. So I hope you understand the continuous casting process. If you like this, then subscribe and share. Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.